2 a.m. and Jeffrey has hopped off of video games. He's now going to go to sleep. But he has this cope in the back of his mind which always tells him that he can't sleep without fapping first. And so Jeffrey hops on the devil's website and then falls to sleep shortly after he busts. But Adonis, Adonis is a regimented man. He does not let anything disturb his nighttime routine. When it turns to darkness, Adonis retires back to his cave and falls asleep at the same time every single day. And Adonis has optimised his sleep so much that now when his head touches the pillow, he's already asleep and is waking up early in the morning to do some productive work. I just noticed that my camera's like slightly tilted and it's just it's just like you know like it's just it's still that way. Hold on. Like I was losing focus in the Jeffrey and Adonis section because the camera's just like tilted ever so slightly. Also, speaking of Jeffrey and Adonis, if you're like really triggered because I use Jeffrey and Adonis and you're like, oh you've copied Hamza, I think there's a video on my channel. I may or may not link it. You can go and watch it if you're really that, like, offended by Jeffrey and Adonis. But you, you do you, man. You do you. Do what you want. St you know, yeah. So, around 2021. So, I'm around, like, 14 and it's midnight. And I'm talking to the boys. We're all on, like, Fortnite or Roblox or something. And then... It's time to hop off. Mum comes into the room and she tells me, look, Alfie, got to go off. But you see, I would not I would not tolerate going to sleep at midnight. So I do a bit of bartering, a bit of negotiating with my mum. And I say, could I just watch one or two episodes on Netflix of this show? Because I'll be silent. You won't be able to hear me. And then she agrees. Like, basically, we go a bit back and forth and she agrees. So I'm in my bed, I've got like flipping cucumber, like that was like a snack for me. I'd just like eat, like not even like in slices, bro. I'd just like <laughs> eat the whole cucumber. <laughs> and then one or, like obviously, you know when like people say like, oh, it's just one episode. It's never really one episode. Realistically, you're, you're binging it, bro. I said one or two episodes. An episode would be like 20 minutes. I somehow ended up staying awake until 2 a.m. And the only reason that I went to sleep was because I was too tired to focus. So, obviously, it was it just was not the ideal place to have optimized sleep. But now, I can confidently say that I have got really good sleep. I've got a fantastic sleep schedule. Going to bed and waking up at the same time pretty much every single day. I can fall asleep in an average of 10 minutes. Besides yesterday, because I was like hot and sweaty, bro. Like, I can't lie, I'm actually a bit salty about that. Because I had to... Like, you know when... Like, side tangent, in it, But you know when it's just, like, warm. And you know, like, the only way to escape... Is to change the entire like change the entire bed and change the duvet, change the covers, everything. And only then it took me forty four minutes, forty four minutes to get to sleep. But on an average day, it would take me a solid ten minutes now because I've done a couple of things which I'm going to teach you in this video. How long have we been recording? Because I don't want to get on many side tangents. Because last time, somehow, I ended up recording for 18 minutes. It should not have been that long. The first thing we're going to talk about to improve your sleep and to sleep faster is to get some sort of night lamp or a candle, which you can put below your eye line. And I'll explain why later, but like just to show you what I, like, I'm talking about, if you're unaware... Ignore my water, but like this lamp, I can like touch it and boom, it turns on, right? That's amazing, right? I know modern technology, man. What a W. So, oh, hold on. Oh my gosh, hold on. So, 
Oh, that's a bit that's a bit higher than normal. Right, so usually two to three hours before I fall asleep, I'll turn off like the overhead light and I'll turn on that lamp and just keep that open or on. Because I want you to imagine like back in the caveman days, back in the tribal days, back in the Ooga Booga days. When the sun <coughs> Oh my gosh, what the hell was that? When the sun went down that was it, that was like night night, time to rest, good night. Either you were watching guard for enemy tribes or for like some animal attack or you were going to bed realistically, right? So when you when it's like near bedtime and you have an overhead light on, your caveman brain still perceives that as the sun. I know it's like a lot of bro science and it's a bit far fetched and some scientific dungeons and dragons like flipping redditor is gonna come here. Well actually that's scientifically incorrect. Like I don't care, bro. It's you can't disagree with me. It it makes sense. So basically, whilst you're trying to go to bed the light under you is better because it's almost like you could think of it like a sunset rather than like flipping midday and it's like you're meant to be going to science right now you know what i mean so that's a lot better from just for trying to get trying to feel sleepy earlier because when it's darker your brain's going to produce more chemical your brain and body's going to produce chemicals which are more for sleep rather than staying awake so that's the first thing. The second thing is getting blue light filters on your devices, maybe even getting blue light glasses, blue light blocking glasses. And basically, I'll give you the TLDR, blue light is kind of like the sun to your caveman brain, I guess. It's like, it's going to signal to your brain that it's still time to stay awake, just as the same thing with the overhead light. So <clears throat> what you're going to do, is on your phone and on your laptop and maybe like if your TV can do it you do it on your TV you're gonna turn on the blue light filter and schedule it to be turned on two to three to maybe even four hours before you go to bed and put it all the way to the max hold on I've got to drink water my throat hurts man <clears throat> so oh my gosh that is a lot better so two to three hours before you go to bed, you're going to turn on the blue light filter to the max. This way you basically just reduce the amount of blue light and you'll be able to sleep better. Also, like you can turn it on low brightness, but sometimes I forget to do that. Now, a lot of people, bro, but I'll tell you the truth. There's going to be a lot of Jeffries who, who are like, oh, but I don't like how it looks when it's on blue light filter. And I just look at these, like, these donkeys, man. And I just think, like, they're actually clapped, bro. Like, a lot of people who give, like, sleep advice, they tell you not even to use devices two to three hours before bed. I'm telling you, you can use them till the minute you fall asleep, just as long as you don't have the blue light filter on, and they won't take the solution. Please don't be like these Jeffries, man. Don't be like these Jeffries. No one really cares if you like how it looks or not. Do you want good sleep? Because the truth is, when you get good sleep, every single other literally microsecond of your day becomes better because when you improve your sleep you improve every single area of your life and when you get bad sleep all the foundations crumble so do you want to be a guy who has good sleep or a guy who has bad sleep because you know the way of Adonis you know the difference between instant gratification and delayed gratification you know that it might be painful right now but in the long term it will be better for your future so will you turn on the blue light filter and sacrifice a little bit of comfort, a little bit of the aesthetics of your phone, but improve your sleep? Are you going to ruin your health for a lifetime because you don't like how your phone looks? The third thing we can do to improve our sleep <clears throat> is to get a consistent sleep schedule. Because, let's be honest, like, if your schedule is out of whack, if one day you're going to bed at 10 p.m., but then the next day you're going to bed at 12 p.m., your body is not going to be able to 
your body's going to panic, essentially. And it's going to be like, I don't know what time I should release this hormone. I don't know what time I should release this, like, chemical in the brain to make this guy feel sleepier. Because one minute, it's 10pm. The next day, it's 3am. What can I do? What, 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 what do you want me to do? And then, like, a lot of people get, like, inconsistent sleep schedules and be like, guys, I'm sleep deprived. Life's so tough, guys. Well, no. You go to bed at 10 p.m. on a Monday, but on a Saturday, you're going to bed. Like, you don't go to bed. Like, you forget bed exists. Like, it's, it's no surprise. You see, a lot of Jeffries won't wake up. I've already went on this rant. But, like, basically, you got to have every single day the same. Weekdays and weekends. There's no such thing as Saturday to a caveman. If you try to explain to a caveman, so, uh, yo, and, uh, like, what what should we call this guy? What, let's just call him caveman. Like, just keep things simple. Like, you might, went up to this caveman, I was like, I know, look, I know, like, for the past five days, we've been going to bed at 9 p.m. But today is Saturday, so we can stay up a bit later. He'd look at you with his, like, Neanderthal-like face and his jaws just, like, point, like, just jolted out. And he'd look at you like you were a crackhead, bro. So, I, I've already went on the run in this video of, like, do you want better sleep or not? Your choice. Do you want better sleep or not? If you want better sleep, every single day has to be the same. Because once your body gets used to consistency, that's when you'll really start to fall asleep straight away. Because you, you'll you just, your body will know when it's time to go to sleep. And they'll be like, okay, now we're nearing bedtime. The, we've got our lamp on, the blue light filters are on. Everything is lavish. We're about to go to bed. <laughs> Sorry I spent so long on that. But these Jeffries, man. These Jeffries. And then the fourth thing is actually getting enough sleep. Because, like, yeah, cool. If you can fall asleep in two minutes, that's that's amazing, fantastic. But if it's, like, if you're not getting enough sleep in the first place, what's the point? You need to understand that hours in bed is not equal to hours of sleep. And a lot of people get this mixed up. Because a lot of people, they'll say, like, oh, I got, like, six hours of sleep. But the truth is, their head does not touch the pillow, and they're immediately unconscious. The truth is, they probably spend about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, flipping 30 minutes. They're literally, like, fantasizing about the girl they've got a crush on, what game they're going to play tomorrow, like, flipping how to double your edit speed on Fortnite. They're, like, they're not falling asleep immediately. Does this make sense? So with that being said, you already know, like, you already know now because I've called you out for it, that, oh, like, I'm not going to bed immediately as my head touches the pillow. And as, so, like, say, for example, if you want to wake up at 6 a.m. and you want eight hours of sleep, a lot of people will say you go to bed at 10 p.m., but that's wrong because we've already, we already established why it's wrong. So what you've got to do to counteract this is actually, well, it's simple, really. Just add more time to bed. It's not, it's not that hard. It's like nine, like we've already went on this rant because I know you have some limiting belief where it's like, oh, but I might miss out on some like hours of the day. That hour could be used for fun. But realistically, right, you're depressed. I'm just going to keep it real with you. You're probably depressed. And one of the biggest reasons you are depressed and you have bad mental health is because you don't get enough sleep. You literally, like, the reason right now, you you are quite literally that guy who has a rain cloud over his head is because you don't sleep. It's literally as simple as one more hour for sleep and you'll be a happier person. I don't understand why people won't take this advice. So... Just dedicate one more hour to bed. Forget whatever your Jeffrey brain is saying because that's the thing that's made you depressed. That's the thing that's got you addicted to video games. It almost got you addicted to porn. Or maybe it even has got you addicted to porn. So just take advice from a guy who's a one step ahead. And the fourth thing to do so that you can... The fifth thing that you can do to fall asleep quicker and to improve your sleep is to stop overstimulating yourself near bedtime. The amount of guys 
the amount of little, like, like literally boys who will play video games till the minute they go to sleep is truly unfathomable. It's, it's like, it's, it's madness. Hold on, I was about to burp there. It's honestly madness. It's like, ah, oh, your brain is not resting. Let's let's get this clear. Your brain is not resting whilst you're scrolling on TikTok, whilst you're watching top ten anime fight scenes. When it's watching like flipping porn, or when it's like flipping just instant gratification near bedtime, will not put your brain in the right mental state for you to sleep because. If there is something that is alerting you, let's say I read a hate comment or like, well, I don't have a girlfriend, but like, let's say I had a girlfriend break up with me like two minutes before I go to bed. Are you, am I going to sleep at night, bro? Of course not, man. I'm going to be like, that's going to be sad, bro. Like it, it, it could wait until the morning. You know what I mean? So let's say like there's an argument like you might relate to this. I, we can both relate to this, right? We might have had an argument with some guy, and then it's just harder for us to go to sleep. Do you know why? It's because there's stress and alertness in our bodies now, and that is not really conducive to fall asleep. So how do we solve this? Just watch more relaxing things, maybe read a book, listen to an audio book nearer to bedtime, or rather whilst you're trying to fall to sleep, and just try and avoid checking messages watching overstimulating things and you should be good because when you improve every when like bro when you improve your sleep every other area of your life gets improved because sleep is a meta skill it is a skill which improves every other area of your life it improves every other skill so if you can really optimize your sleep you could conquer life bro so I know this is a long video just talking about sleep, but truly this improves your mental health. You'll become more productive so that you can actually work on the things that you wanted to work on for so long. You'll actually be able to study now and focus and you'll be able to get better grades than everyone else in your class. And when you get better sleep, you'll make more muscle and make faster progress in the gym. So that you can look in the mirror and actually be proud of yourself and your boys can be around you and see you hitting PRs in the gym. So I know it's like just about sleep, but it goes so much deeper than that. If you want to learn more about self-improvement from a young guy who's got a PhD in bro science, hit the subscribe button below. Safe.